Let's talk about quadratics in standard form. Remember that a, b, and c refer to the coefficients and the constant. Let's talk about some things you'll often see with quadratics. Since in real life these are often used to represent things being thrown or dropped, the parabola usually needs to open down. So in that case, this first coefficient, a, is typically negative. Remember, that flips the parabola so it opens down. If you're measuring something in feet per second, you're often going to see a negative 16 up here. This first number here is a representation of gravity's pull on the object. You don't really need to know that, but that's why we often see a negative 16. This number here, b, is representing the initial velocity. Again, you probably don't need to know that too much in Algebra 1, but that's how hard something is thrown. Now C is pretty important and you do need to know what it represents. Just like with linear equations, the constant represents the y-intercept. That's your starting point. If we're graphing something being thrown, this is the height that it started. This equation here represents a baseball being hit from a high elevation. It's in feet per second. Therefore, this 32 means that 32 feet was the initial height. Let's go ahead and make a sketch of what we think is going on here. So if this is a baseball being hit from a high elevation, I'm going to start it up here, and then I assume it's going to go up and eventually come down. Now we can do some math to find these different points. We've already noted that 32, 32 feet is the height that it started at. Now let's try to find this maximum height, which happens to be the vertex. To find a vertex, whether it's a maximum or a minimum, it doesn't matter, but to find any vertex of a quadratic in standard form, you can use the simple equation negative b over 2a. So let's plug in b and a. This will find the x value of the vertex. Two. So that means right here is two. Let's go ahead and label both of these axes. This one down here is measuring time in seconds. And this here is measuring height in feet. So at two seconds, we'll reach our maximum height. In order to find out what the maximum height is, we need to plug two back into this equation for time. Two squared is four. Sixteen times four, negative sixteen times four is negative sixty four. One twenty eight. Sixty four, negative sixty four plus a hundred and twenty eight is sixty four plus 32 is 96. That means the maximum height is 96 feet. Now I could find the height at any given second. If I want to know how high the ball is at one second, I just plug in a one for x. If I want to know the height at three seconds, I plug in a three. And I could keep doing this and eventually find out when the ball hits the ground. Or, if I want to know when the ball hits the ground, that's an x-intercept, so I can plug in a zero for y. Let's do that. Okay, I'm trying to find the zero, so I plugged in a zero for y, and now I can solve. I have a few options. I could use the quadratic formula. That'll work right now. I can plug in a, b, and c. But let's try to factor this a little and see what happens. Let's go ahead and take negative 16 out of all of these terms. 
that'll make that negative 4 x minus 2. So I can try to factor this. I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 2 and add to give me negative 4. I can't think of any. So let's try to complete the square here. Half of this term is 2. Square that to get 4. Now I have a perfect square trinomial. If I add 4, I need to subtract 4, and I still have a minus 2. Alright, so this front is x minus 2 squared minus 6. Okay, now I can solve this and hopefully find my... Let's back up a second, because what happened to this negative 16? What I could do is divide it from both sides. Now I have 0 equals x minus 2 squared minus 6. Then I can add 6. Take the square root of both sides. Add 2. Let's get a decimal. 2 plus the square root of 6, 4.45. And then let's also do 2 minus the square root of 6, negative 0 0.45. So let's locate these two zeros on our graph up here. 4.45 is this location. Negative 0.45 would be back here. So in this real world situation, we don't really need the negative. That would be like going back in time. Yes, it's part of the parabola, but it's not part of the real life story. So we use some algebra to find all these critical points of the graph. The, the maximum or the vertex happened at 2 seconds and 96 feet. The ball hits the ground at 4.45 seconds, and it started at 32 seconds. Let's put the equation in the calculator to see how it could help us. y equals negative 16x squared plus 64x plus 32. Let's see what our window is set at. For a maximum on the x-axis, let's make it only go to 6, and the y-maximum, let's go 100. And now let's graph. And now we can see how that looks like our sketch. We could even verify some of these points by going to trace. And then we can see the height of the ball at any time during this problem. We can also use the calculator to find some critical points. So let's say we go to second, calculate, which is above trace, and we can find the vertex. Now we have to choose whether it's a minimum or a maximum. In this case, it's a maximum. We need to scoot to the left and hit enter, scoot to the right, and hit enter, and then say yes to guess. Here we see the maximum is at 296. Now your calculator may have some tiny decimal, but it's two. We can also use this to find a zero. Again, you wanna be sure you're on the left, and then to the right and hit guess and it will give us that zero value.